Hey everyone from far across time, space and distance. I am a psychic from a true love channel. They do financial crunch everywhere around the world. I'm doing free personalized tarot reading, oracle card reading, candlelight reading for you. So if you have any personal reading, you can either mention your problem in the comment section box down below or I have also provided my email ID in the description box down below. So those who are shy, they can email me your query and did you already loads of messages and the reading itself requires a lot of intense energy whenever i will be free i will do the reading for you and i would love to guide you for all those returning subscribers thank you so much you mean such a lot to me thank you for the lovely comments lovely messages it keeps me motivated to make more such videos for you and for those who are new welcome to the family so today's reading topic is June 2021 love prediction. Yeah, it was requested to me by many of you in my email ID. So I'm doing that for you. Your zodiac signs are mentioned in the form of timestamps in the description box down below and also pinned to the comment section box down below. So I'll see you at the click of your reading. Aries, let's see what's your quick love prediction for June 2021. This is Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Justice Card, King of Pentacles. And the last ace of rods what i see in your reading is that um, most of you are going to socialize with new friends new people and i see a lot of love vibes there are certain secret admirers who are already admiring you so you are going to find your love within your friends it can be a, a love love kind of a love the one the soulmate kind of a love or a really friendly like kind of a love your friends really admire you they really want to spend time with you and in this June quick love predictions I could see is that you would be so focused in your love sometimes you would be you know unnoticed saying that they are actually noticing you they really admire you for who you are and they really like the way you do the work and you would be a lot of charm to them and the justice would be provided to you in the june 2021 so it means that in 2021 there would be a sense of balance if you have done something wrong you have to pay something back to the people you have done wrong with but if somebody has done wrong with you they would be you know treated equally they would also see the consequences of the wrongdoing this is a month for your karmas you would be working hard and you would be reaping benefits of your old previous uh, hard work and it's like a sprout in your love so uh, for most of you a new wood could come it could evolve and if it's like some dicey situation or your other person is dicey about you they would be very sure and they would be really fulfilling with all your you know imaginations now let me pick up a quick lucky number for you for june 2021 and a quick message your lucky number is 26 or uh, six plus two it is eight and it is love partnership what are the odds so it is that you are going to get this lovely partnership the lovely balanced connection and which is like really utmost importance to you you have this justice card so this time you really know that it is all about equal give and take right now you won't be you know uh, sacrificing yourself a lot with 
for someone and at the same time you want others sacrifice a lot for you you would be taking a partnership role a balanced role a friendship role your partner and you would be like so much open with each other at this point of time and new, new love blossoming and it's, it's kind of productivity for all those who are married and if they are you are planning for baby so this is the best time your partner also wants that to happen for you so it is like such a beautiful message so this is for you Aries. if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also you can message me that how you like this reading or you can comment me in the comment box down below so i'll see you in your next reading till then have a great time take care bye bye Hey Taurus, let me see what's there in your reading. Nine of Cups. Most of you would be very fulfilled with what you have. Even if you are single, you would be so satisfied and so overwhelmed with love and energy and positivity that you would be the loving magnet yourself. You are so much filled already with love. You have this Knight of Cups and there's a person who is admiring you, your loving energy and you have this kind of energy and they have this one cup and they really want to share that cup and they share their love with you. They are really seeking you out and they are really enjoying you. You have this star card, this is a make-a-wish card, all your dreams are already going to come true anyways. You have this four of pentacles and this five of sports card. What are they odds? These people are actually going to fight over you. You know, uh, I could see that this kind of person, they are like very proactive about you. They, they really want you and they can fight for you. Uh, they are fighting with others to hold you back and uh, they would be like a little cringy and sometimes those who are already in relationship they are going to find it that they are not going to you know make your own choices this time at this point of time they would be like demanding they would be demanding time and your your love a lot and you yourself are so content this time Taurus that you don't care <laughs> so much but they, then they are filled with love and it's like a make a wish a star card so just try to create balance because your dreams are already manifesting true and you're already getting so much in your life so it, it's like a, such a loving card most of you would be happy with the people who love them for who they are so they would be actually enjoying their life with them rather than they are following someone so the people who love them they would be like so much dedicated to them at this point of time at this point of year in your life now let me read a quick lucky number for you it's like a 16 number a rebirth card for you 16 or 7 number and it is like a rebirth for you it's a rebirth because most of you would have not imagined that the partner would be like so much wanting to have them in your life. They want to be with you. They would be secretly admiring you for who you are. And they really want to spend their time with you. And if you some if they feel that you have been attracted to someone else, they would be kind of feeling, you know, jealous. So it's a rebirth card. So it means that you have to reconsider these kind of people in your life. If you have any, then just consider the fact that whether you could be happy with this kind of person or not because they're already so much in love with you so it would make your life much more easier if you would be with this kind of person and if you 
have this kind of abundance of love which i can see in your reading if you give this love to this kind of person who actually deserve it because they are so much loyal and they're much so much focused about you so what kind of balanced relationship it will become a beautiful relationship it will become a mutual cooperative relationship it will become and a worth keeping relationship it can become so uh, that's it for today taurus so if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos you can either message me or put in the comment that how you like your reading if you really like it or anything else you want me to do for you i would really love to read that so see you next time. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye. Hey, Gemini. Let me see what's there when you're reading. You have this six of cups energy. You have this sun energy. For most of you, it would be like rekindling of your childhood love or your twin flame connection or your ex would be coming back. They would be thinking about you. They really want to join a family with you. They are so positive about you. You have this knight of rods card they are approaching towards you you really don't have to do much in this month they would be attracted towards you gemini it is like ace of cups we are talking about love energies and like you guys have taken all the cups okay so it's like six of cups and ace of cups it is like bringing and springing the sun card and the ace of cup cards always shows the springing of new energies new hope then i see in the last the king of cups what's wrong with you guys okay so already you have been so welcomed in this love maybe most of you have started already been dating someone and they you are really enjoying their company you really enjoy your time with them and they are also enjoying their time with you and you have this immense love energy you are going to spend a lot of time together this lot of you know sensual energy which i could see and you this energy is going to really hold you with this person you would be very much filled and you know this this month is a month of love for you so what i could see is that those who are with their partners they are already going to enjoy their life there's not much to say for them for those who are singles and waiting for new love oh my god you are so much overwhelming with love it would be coming to you those who have been in a you know a broken relationship their partners most probably would be realizing their mistakes and they would be contacting you again and they are considering so much about you they are thinking about you in their dreams so it is most probably they would be coming towards you it's just that you have to enjoy the feeling of love in this month let me read a quick a quick quick very quick lucky number for you and lucky message for you your lucky number is two and your lucky that uh message it's patience the cards are saying to be patient you just wait that that person is approaching towards you even if you are not believing it it is happening and it will be happening to a great extent you know there are times we say that okay i waited for this person but then they didn't approach me there are so many things you know working in the universe plotting so many things coordinating so many things that sometimes it takes time it and that time is also not an accident it is kind of a divine timing which we talk about these are like making things happen in the right time it means you have to be mature enough to handle the relationship and the partner who is going to approach you who really wants you in your life has to be also quite mature if there is any delay delay between either in you or in that partner so it leads to a long time so that doesn't mean 
that nothing happened because you are not together so how could this be true but there has been a lot of thought a lot of internal work had been done in their mind for you so the things are happening and they will happen at the right time right divine time you just have to wait for the right moment okay gemini this is the beautiful reading for you if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos you can add a message me or put your comment in the comment section how you liked my reading and what else you want me to do for you so till then see you in the next and see you in my next reading till then have a great time take care bye bye cancer hope you're doing fine let me see what is your quick luck prediction for june 2021 and what would be your lucky number ten of pentacles okay cancerians you are like starting with a great start four of swords Two of Rods, the Tower, yeah, I was sensing some energy like that. Okay, the Tower, the Page of Swords. Most of you Cancers at this point of time really want to settle down and have a stable relationship. Earlier, most of you would be in a casual relationship and you want to take a break from that kind of relationship most of you would be in a break and would be like looking for some stable partners at this point of time and in this period of time in june 2021 and you are you have a really uh most of you have really a, you know bad experience uh for the casual relationships you really don't want the things to get over so soon you are you have realized that you are emotional kind of and a, and a stable kind of person and you really like want to be with a partner who appreciate you for who you are so most of you would be in the rest state for most of the time and looking for new opportunities new goals new ways to do things i see a lot of new learnings in this month and you would be searching more for a partner with a stable relationship I could see Ten of Pentacles, so definitely this day is a partner for you, made for you. But you have to look for it with an, you know, dedicated approach. You cannot be so careless about it, and you have to be like really uh, mature, and you have to deal with the right things. And uh, that kind of person definitely exists who gives you kind of financial moral and emotional and as a whole package stability and you would be very sincerely searching for that kind of partner and for some you would be concentrating more on your work and your rest you would be two things you would be doing most at this time either it would be work or it would be rest but you have in your heart that you want this stable relationship. You would be seeing people where you can make your relationship stronger and mature. And you are quite sincere at this period. Okay, I do understand you have a really pretty rough bumpy road before. So you want to be serious and not so much fun loving at this period of time. But I see that there is a greater good because you are really focused about wanting a whole package, not some, you know, few breadcrumbs which you had in your previous um, relationships. Now let me find a quick lucky number for you, for your June 2021. 
it's seven eight seventy eight okay fifteen six is your lucky number and yeah see this is spiritual career i see there's a lot of spiritual awakening going on in this month you would be either focusing on your work or on yourself or on your rest you want rest you want to break from life you want to break from any you know nonsense crappy things you want to focus and rearrange your life all together and look for something more spiritual more enlightened more wholesome rather than you know just a bits yeah this is what i see for you lovely reading to do for you can say rinse and this is it so if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos you can also mention your how you like my video in my email id you can drop a message or you can also mention in the comment box down below and you can tell me what else i can do for you and see you next time in my next reading till then take care have a great time bye bye Hey Leo, yeah, I get this power when I say this, but Leo. Okay, let me do a quick love prediction reading for your June 2021. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Three of Rods, and Page of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, you would start your month with a very, very confused genre. It's like that you are filled with love, you have this love energy in your life, and it's just that this time you're confused because even the, with the person most of you which i could see is that with the person you are involved with is not giving you a, a whole satisfaction it's not that they are not good or they are just ruining your life it's just that, that they cannot give you all what you are actually asking for but there is deep sense of love and you're so confused that what you have to choose between these two things little dicey at this point of time and but it would be like you would be together when then there would be something which you have to sacrifice and when you are away then you have to be anyway sad because you are away with each other i could see that you would be searching for new love even your partners would be doing that but then your heart belongs to each other so it is like very difficult for you to get off of your past it so okay quickly at this point at this period of time so you would be holding on together but like with the dicey roll you you really don't know what what would be coming up next but it is that you have to enjoy the very moment you are in right now it is that you in the later or in the mid June you would be realizing or in the end of June you would be realizing that okay things are not turning the way uh, you want or they want but then they are just satisfactory and you can take out some middle solution to be together and then to do the work you want to do for some of you I see that there is like searching new partners so you know with all the hope that you are going to get new partners so there's no harm in searching new partners you get such new partners but it, if you are going to find it it's okay and if you're not going to find it it's like you would be sure that your world love or your endurance is worth waiting it's it's worth doing right so let me find out a quick lucky number for you 
for June 2021 and a lucky message for you. It is 81 and it is leadership. Yes, you have to in the end have to take command in your role. You have to take command of all your responsibilities. I see page of pentacles. So you would be not very mature but yes. You would be like being directed like a leader. You, re you would be knowing how to get your things done by the end. Your lucky number is 81, 9. It's 9. It's 9, 9 is a very, you know, you got this 11, 11 connection. You got this 9 connection. What I see is that this endurance of yours, which you are going to face at this point of time, it would be worth, you know, a struggle because this is like, a kind of leadership you would be exploring that you have this leadership qualities also you can organize things you can manage the things you can explore new things you can take participation in new ventures and i could see that there is a divine connection between you two so this is a little hard time for you two but it's like the journey is must otherwise how will you know that you were already in the right place you know you just are sitting here but you have to go around and move around and see everything and just again you can sit here back knowing that okay i have to move around i have seen every round this is the best thing i have got this is this kind of scenario you cannot just sit around here you have to move around and your partners even have to move around and see everything all around and then with the whole satisfaction you can be sitting in your near future it's like a moving around phase in your life and it's worth worth the wait because it's like a divine connection 9 and 11 both are so lucky and immense powerful numbers you're getting okay if you really like my reading leo please like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos also, you can mention any of your suggestions or how you like the reading in the comment section box down below. Or if you're shy, you can email me how you liked my reading and what else you want me to do for you. Okay, so see you in my next reading. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye. Here we we'll go. Let's see what a quick June 2021 prediction is there for you. Let's start a prediction with the world energy. Cool. The emperor energy. Nine of rods energy. Ten of rods energy. A lot of fire which I could see and the magician energy. Wow. Okay. So you are like a you know the head, the boss of your relationship. There are times where you don't you you know what you are doing, right? And sometimes your partner, if you're already in a relationship, they really don't understand you. So that makes you like little, you know irritated and like off the road off the track so you are in your defense section you just see that okay they are going to take all my job roles which i already do or which i already good at they're challenging my abilities so you are like you know just being you know irritated sometimes with that but what i could see is that this energy of yours is making you much more wiser because you have this kind of energy i know and i have it at all but your partner or your the person you are attracted towards or the person who is going to influence you in your June 2021 would be always pushing you around. Okay, you cannot do this, but you're not good at this. And how you could this, this? No, it is okay, but I'll tell you how to do this. So this energy, this, this pinching energies would make you more, more magic like a person. You would be like enjoying and, you know, working very hard for yourself 
and you would be nurturing yourself in this June 2021. This powerful love energy which I could see is all the negativities are there to make you a better person. If you are in a job and your seniors or your colleagues are just harassing you and they are not letting you grow, then you can search for something new, some new job, new new project, new, new object and you can grow there. This kind of love energies which I could see here in your reading. So this is kind of a love which is so much important which is directly from the universe it's not the people who are making you you know struggle hard at this point of time is the universe is making you struggle hard to you know take out more from you it's like only at the time of crisis or only at the time of floods we know what we have to actually do what what action we are going to take when you're sitting relaxing in a house you cannot make a quick action so this kind of energy is like focusing like if the bad is happening only to make you stronger okay it's like a father is raising you know waking his children up at you know 4 a.m or 5 a.m in the morning just to make them meditate do the studies or for workout so it, it is quite irritating that why they why the father is so intense and so tough and so disciplined about their children but in the end the hardship of the children would be paid because the father has made them so disciplined so that discipline will reap the good benefits to the children later on in their life they would be much more mature much more wiser so this kind of energy which i see in your, in your reading reading is that this is a uh, more of a universal love you are going to get in june 2021 not of a you know the lovers kind of a love but a universal kind of love because universe is really expecting you to be such a great and immense powerful they want to utilize you for the creation and to make a universe and a world a better place so they would be giving you hardships only because to make you or make you realize how better and how more powerful a person you actually are and if you would have not got these hardships or these fightings and these struggles, then it would have been really hard for you to realize that, oh no, I have this kind of power. I can make, I can face these kind of challenges. And in the end, you will be like a magician. You will know how to deal with all the energies, the, the water energies, fire energies, earth energy, air energies. You will know to control these kind of energies. It's more of a spiritual topic, but then yes, you would be able to do that. Now let me quickly see what the lucky number for you is. And the lucky message for you is 6666. Cool. Three. And you're healing. Yeah. So you have to heal yourself. Even in the, the hardest phase of your life, please try to heal yourself. Don't worry, things will turn out to be so magical because you I don't have to. Right now, you are waiting for some magic to happen, but later on, you will realize that ultimately you have become the magic, you have become the magician, and people are just following you, they, they are learning from you. And this is kind of healing energy, you have to give this to yourself. So, be patient, good times would come, and it's hard time is only to make making you you know stronger as a person it's making you much more wiser as a person okay if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos if you have any message for me you can either email me if you're shy or you can put your message in the comment section box down below you can also Give me some suggestions how to do the readings for you and what else do the readings for you. Okay, so see you in my next reading. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey Libra, let's see what's there in your reading for June 2021. Quick love reading and quick lucky number and a quick message. Okay, this card just popped out on its own. 
seven of rods the strength card page of cups card and the six of pentacles card and the hierophant card wow most of you have become strong already by now you really know what you want in your life and how you're going to acquire it and uh, I see the marriage for most of you the alliance for most of you who you are going to date is most probably in June 2021 is most probably you're going to end up with in your future I could see a uh, you know a childlike love or you're going to make something rash decisions in this month and they are quite immature but then they are, have this daring kind of aspect you are a terror you are a fighter kind of a person and you will fight you will be outspoken about it and if you have to really say something then you would be saying this and this would make your person quite attracted towards you because they'll see that this person has actually the guts to fight for me to you know to say something for me you have this kind of a balanced energy um, as in kind of six of pentacles i see that you are you know sharing you are not just only receiving the love and energies and vibes but you would be sharing and distributing to others if you are not planning to share just share it because it will align you with your universe your universe really wants you to share some of the energies or love or, or some possession of yours to the universe maybe you can share your old clothes or something which you don't use and uh, you know uh, donate it to people who need it right now so this is where you are going to get and attract a lot of abundance a lot of energies a lot of vibes in your life i see the divinity in this card i see the marriage in this card i see the productivity in this card there would be like your old belief systems would be becoming much stronger at this point if you have any kind of belief it would be coming true at this point of time you have the strength energy they like people at this this period of time they won't be you know ready to fight you because you are ready in your fighting mode and you can win with win them okay there's nobody could argue with you right now and for your love for your love there is a lovely immense powerful energy it's like you would be taking the initiative most of you and you have such a giving energy why somebody is going to say no to you you are just a giver just a strong person one actually wanted in your life so so wanted in one's life so why they would be rejecting you so you you know this idea by now and you're working on it and i see a lot of positivity for those who are going to meet new people at this month there is a long-term relationship i could see with that person i see the new energies new people coming in your way it's a lot of new energies coming in your way and if there was something dicey it was happening before it will be confirmed at this period of time okay so lucky number for you is like 44 4 4 4 4 that's 4 it's 8 and and a message for you is environment and you are the six of pentacles it the universe actually wants you to do something good for you you can do something for the environment donate something to the poor or share your things with the people you love or sometimes even if people you don't love you can plant green green trees or just water your plants do the gardening you know just take care of the universe at this point of time your universe really want your this kind of service at this point of time and rest all what you are doing is it's like worth doing people are already admiring you you yourself are such a positive charisma and you have a charismatic quality in yourself so they are already attracted towards you so you have to just keep on doing that way considering environment in your mind okay so that's it 
Libra, if you really like my reading, kindly like, share, and subscribe my channel. Also, hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever I'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos. You can either message me how you like my video if you're shy, or you can put your comment in the comment section box down below that how you like my reading. And you can also drop me some suggestions or other videos which you want me to do for you. I would love to do that. So see you in my next reading. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey Scorpio, let's see what's there for you in June 2021. A quick love reading for you. Then a quick lucky number and a quick message. You are Hermit. You got Six of Swords. Okay, the devil, the knight of pentacles, and the chariot. Most of you are in your hermit mode, you really uh, have this spiritual energy, this spiritual journey of yours going on in your life for some time. And most of you have moved forward, move on. You have seen a little, you know, a negative side, a toxic side of something in your past. And now you really are fed up with it and you want to move on, move forward. You want to move away from all the toxicity and you are seeking more spiritual, more enlightened path in this period of time. You have this Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot kind of energy. So it's like you're progressing towards, you know, for the, you know, to open your higher chakras, for your higher good. You are, you are processing your life to more of a spiritual journey you are going to take. Uh, in this month so when you are in a spiritual journey you just experience a kind of true love you're in if you really are wondering what the true love is i have one of the videos which i've made in this channel that what is true love you can go through that video and you can see that what actually the true love is all about and you are seeking that kind of spiritual energies right now you are like in your spiritual mood you are moving forward and you are have been gone through to such a struggle that you don't want to rely on those struggles you are moving forward and you are just hoping for the better good but let me tell you that it's it's like a, a divine connection so you would are you i just say that you are moving in a correct direction you must move forward and you are going to uh, get the answers to all your questions which you have ever wondered in your life you would be getting answers you would be becoming much more stronger in the end and you have i must tell you you have chosen the right path if you are wondering it's sometime which you think that whether i the moving forward is a wise step or not let me get back to that toxicity again and try to work hard but then in one side of heart you would you really want to move forward some one are in some people are in dicey situation but most of you have been already sure and have already moved forward so the only message for you is that you are experiencing the immense form of love that is the true love energies and when you are in true love it is like oh my god it's the true love is the kind of energy where you actually doesn't need a special physical partner physical person with you 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 become a hermit you become so so immense powerful that you can attract anyone any spirit any form of love whosoever whatever you want in your life this kind of true love energy which i could see you are going to attract in june 2021 is so much spiritual and has so much power that you can you know do the things which are 
impossible it's not you think is impossible it's like most of the people think is impossible and you have this kind of energy center in you in this period of time that you can create that energy so don't doubt yourself you are already moving forward so you have to just continue with your spiritual energy and you can enlighten all your chakras all your uh, you know you can you if you're doing meditation you can enlighten yourself to higher good and the toxicity which you have faced you are detoxing yourself i could see and this is like a true love form of energy it's way beyond any energy it's like you are being happy within yourself you actually don't need anyone in your life and whosoever is there in your life they really get the vibes with you and they really want to be with you because you yourself are the love magnet wow 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 wow, wow. it's a very good energy scope for you scorpio just keep on going i must say So that's it for today. It's, oh no no no! Before that, let me find a quick lucky number for you and uh, a quick message for you. Okay, look, you got this nature message, and your lucky number is eleven. It's two. Okay, seventy-four. It's eleven. It's two. nature yeah you just have to wait for the nature nature is already so much kind to you you have to connect yourself with the nature to get yourself linked with the spiritual journey or the moving forward journey you are in this moving forward journey the nature will guide you if you see the guidance from the nature whenever you are confused just go and you know look to the trees to the plants to the you know street animals or your pets or anyone surrounding you and you will get the message you are going to get the message from the nature they will direct you whatever you feel like i have lost my direction look your answers in the nature or from the nature so that's it for today's reading if you really like my reading scorpio Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Also, hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever I'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos. You can I also message me in my email ID how you liked your at this video, or you can directly comment me in the comment section box down below, and you can also send me some suggestions, or if you want any other readings, you can ask me. I'll do the reading for you. So, tea see you in my next reading. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey Sagittarius, let's me let me see how this June twenty twenty one would turn up for you. Let me do a quick love reading, quick number reading, a quick message reading for you. Okay, you started your energy with the Moon energy, Five of Wands energy. Two of Cups energy, Page of Wands energy, and the Wheel of Fortune energy. Okay. Ah, lovely message. If you are already in a relationship, first let me tell you, you are going to have a great time with a partner. A lot of love and love it rekindles and kindles all the time. Now. for all those who are seeking of there is like a wheel of fortune at this point of in this period of time and it will like things would be turning in favor of you and the things which you never you have never expected before would be happening in june 2021 
so if you really want to attract love the love would be coming towards you the wheel of fortune is rotating constantly and it is you know taking its position so it is plotting for you to get what you want for all those who have been in a breakup mode and wants their ex back you have this little kind of struggle in your life and you are just conflicting some people are just conflicting between you know some people are or, or, or they are most of them are conflicting within themselves you have this kind of conflict and you have this kind of a uh, dicey uh, decisions to make but you are not very sure about it about this partner or your partner is not very sure about it but then you have this cool a moon like energy you have this like peaceful energy which is attracting your partner towards you you are like in a calm mode in a very cool mood you are in a docile mood and you are not taking any aggressive actions right now which is making your partner more wanting you than ever you know what you want to do and you are continuously doing it there is lot of you know a dwindling energy like a fire and a, a water energy you know when you are when a fire and a water is going to fight what will happen you know water will you know either fire will burn or the water will you know get evaporated so it's like fire will be burning out or the water would be evaporating so both cannot live all together so they, this is kind of a, you know intermixing situations are coming out in your mind but you have to believe in the fortune the wheel of fortune in your luck and this would be a more of a luck energy is going on in june 2021 rather than karma's energy so you would be rather lucky the universe is already very kind to you because of your this you know calm and soothing nature and you know a decided nature you would be losing sometime you have to really fight because things are demanding you to fight for yourself or stand for yourself and most of you would be standing and becoming much more you know intense and sophisticated than before and for the others being calm would make the things you know slow down nothing you know abrupt or aggressive would happen so the choice is yours you can see what is good for you or what you actually want in your life so let me do a quick let um number reading lucky number reading a quick message for you it's 532 and it's music so if you are like in your turmoil mode and you really don't know what to do and how to do you can soothe yourself or calm yourself by listening to music listen to the answers in the music the answers to your questions the lyrics in the music or the actual music in the music will direct to you will give you the answers just place the music it will calm your mind it will take off your mind from all the hardships which you have gone through or the struggles which you have to still face and you're going to get the answers in that music it could be religious music it could be spiritual music it could be some rap music or some meaningful music or even the you know some pop music could also help if you really want to take the help from that okay that's it for today it's such is serious so if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel you can also send me a message in my email id how you liked my reading if you're shy <laughs> otherwise you can mention the message in the comment section box and if you have any suggestions or if you want me to do other readings uh, for you you can also message me that i would love to see what you want to say okay that's it for today so see you in my next readings till then have a great time take care bye bye Hey Capricorn, let's see what's there for you 
in June 2021. You have got this judgment card. You have got this two of swords card. You have got this eight of cups card. Capricorns. You have this king of pentacles and you have this eight of pentacles sorry king of rods and eight of pentacles okay what could i see in your reading uh, the love reading yeah i'm doing the love reading <laughs> but it's like uh more of a judgment um you have been a very in a very struggleful period in it, it's in the it's the recent past of your it have been so bad and so you know most of you have been so fed up with what is happening and really want to move on and it's like something really miserable happened to you somebody cheated you somebody betrayed you tortured you and you are so confused you are not able to make choices in between the right and wrong and you are really waiting for some judgment to happen to see the direction and it's like sometimes you just want don't want to see you just want to move forward you just want to leave all the energies which you have but in june 2021 what you are going to face uh you are going to face this kind of period most probably but it will be making you much more productive it, it will ripen your spirits it will ripen your hopes later in your life you would be more mature later on and you would be focusing on your work and but on your work doesn't mean literally that you are going to do more uh you were putting more working hours in your job it's like working on yourself on your internal self if you have been broken down a lot you would be doing the self love this at this period of time by self love you would be healing yourself in the end it's like enough everyone if you are broke breaking my heart or you are making me like driving me crazy making me do something which i really don't want to do irritating me for no good re reason taking advantage of me stop it i won't be doing it you will become the judges in the end and will not let others ruin your life and instead of that you would be start healing yourself this month is most probably the self love energy which i could see in your reading capricorn it's like no i have to love myself in the end and i have to see what is right and wrong for myself i have to see what is good are not good for myself i'll make my own choices in the end it's like giving up all the negative energies and then only redirecting and directing within in self not not within self it is not like looking or seeking love from outside you would be seeking love within yourself so it would be like seeking love and nurturing yourself by yourself you really don't want anyone else to nurture you at this point of time you are just so fed up with all the external negative influences which you have gone through so it is like more of an internal healing process and i think it's a very first step to acquire your love if you really want to love in your life you have to first internally heal yourself you have to first love yourself how you can expect other to love you when you yourself are not going to love yourself first it is you who is going to love yourself once you're going to heal it when you're going to become much more stronger wiser funnier than before and more beautiful than before more handsome than before then and only then you can attract someone in your life so it is more of an internal love energy and it's like an internal journey which you are going to go in this period of time and it's a first step for your true love energies to come towards you let me see your lucky number and your lucky message capricorn 7 and personal growth o m g and i was not knowing that this card would come 
<laughs> okay this is the beauty of the tarot readings you know yeah if the tarots are saying something then the oracle cards are definitely going to say the same thing that is how we predict someone's life so uh, maybe you will say that no no this is not resonating with my life how she can say that but if you look deeper in your heart some of it would be definitely true and it's like more of a personal growth personal healing personal you know upliftment personal encouragement you want in your life and then lucky number is seven seven is also a very holy number okay so that's it for you today's reading capricorn so if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos you can also comment me in the comment section box down below or you can comment me in the email id which i provided if you are really shy and let me see how you like my reading and uh, if you have any personal uh, you know any query or if you want to share something how i should make my videos or you want any other video for me to make for you you can drop in the message to me and i would love to know that okay so see you in my next reading till then have a great time take care bye bye Hey Aquarius, let's see what's there in for you for June 2021. Quick club message and quick lucky number for you. First quick tarot reading for you. You got this Ten of Cups energy. Ooh la la. Aquarius, a good start energy. If it's for a rod's energy, what's wrong with you guys? You have this queen of rod's energy. You have this temperance energy. And you have this ace of pentacles energy. Wow. Okay. So it's, it's like a very visible reading for you. You've got all the positive cards in the reading. So this June 2021 is like really loving and enjoying and cherishing for you. You, If those who are already in a relationship, your partner is like very mature about you. They love you immensely. And there's like no other love better than your love. And they, they really want you in, my li in their life. For I see this four of wands and this temperance card. It's like 11 by 11 connection. Most probably with whom you're dating right now or with whom you're thinking right now or the person who's going to approach to you right now is your the soulmate, the real twin flame connection which you are seeking right now. You're going to get it. Uh, I see the ex flames, the old flames coming back in your way. I see like your family members are also knowing about your love. People, your friends are knowing about your love. People are okay with it. They are knowing about the love. You are so immensely powerful in the love energies and then you have which have made you much more stronger. It's like the equal partnership between the partners. It's like your partner is not going to, you know, take advantage of you or ruining you or, you know, they're just putting unnecessary demands on you they would be uh, quite balanced and the, um, the, there's no compromise there's a balancing a mutual understanding energies which i could see in your reading this is ace of pentacles ace of pentacles always derive new hope new love your old friends they could contact you and maybe a uh, new love could come you in the form of old uh, friends of yours there could be some people you which you have already who you have already always considered to be just friends but then you can see them in another way and you can consider them to be their your family i see people approaching towards you and then there are people who are actually in love with you and want to start their whole life with you and they are so much dedicated and loyal towards you at this point of time 
for those who have been in a broken relationship i see the very good chances of your partner to realize that who you are and they really want to have a good life a good loving energies with you they actually want to it, there's a divine timing so this, this the chances are so high that they are going to contact you they are worried about you and if they have made unnecessary demands which you cannot fulfill before so they would be like adjusting with that and they would be like much more mature they are not like what they were what negative things they were doing before and you yourself have become so strong as a person in this period of time you will be doing so hard work at this period of time and with doing hard work it doesn't make you sad it makes you much more stronger you enjoy doing your work you want to do the work you want to deeply engross in the work i see new job opportunities coming your way new uh, business opportunities coming in your way new money opportunities coming in their way and those are singles immensely new powerful beautiful alliances coming in your way i could also see a family so there could be a chances of marriages there could be chances of you know childbirth a good news a productive start you know this growth which i see in these cards now aquarius let me do a quick lucky number for you let me see which is the lucky number for you for your um june 2021 and the lucky message it is 56 56 is like 11 so it is again the divine you know turn connection it's the you know, lucky number is two and it's like relationship change so it's like those who were dealing with the past you know the energies or you were already in relationship but things were not working so they would be changing and they would be changing for good they would be changing for the right divine hours and they deserve to change change is so necessary sometimes and but this time it's like a positive change you would be enjoying that kind of change you would be uh, uh, you know liking each and every moment of this period okay queries if you really like my reading kindly like share and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon down below so that you will be notified next time whenever i'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos you can either you can also message me in the email id which i provided or you can put your comment in the comment section box down below that how you liked my reading or any other suggestions or any other readings which i want you want me to do for you so see you in my next reading till then have a great time take care bye bye Hey Pisces, let me see what's there in love for you in June 2021. I see Seven of Cups. I see Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. I see the Lover's card, and I see the Two of Pentacles. Okay, what are the odds? We do got the Lover's card, and we are doing a quick love reading. So, what I see is that. Uh, most of you are uh, really good in earning and you know you have this good amount of wealth coming in your way in June 2021 so like you would be since the wealth is coming so you have a lot of work to do you would be so much involved in the materialistic world and you would be working really hard and you are so much satisfied with yourself right now because of your work and you have already been strong with what you are doing so it really doesn't matter and you are, you have been involved in this work for quite some time so it really doesn't bother you you have been in the habit but i see true love coming in it's the lover's energy it's like the sixth number it's like a divine uh, card in the tarot this is the form of a true love uh, which we talk about the lover's energy coming in so you would be 
a loving magnet in this June 2021. But let me tell you, let me clear you what the lover energy is actually all about. It is not being physically present. It is like even if they are there for you or they are not there for you, you have this such a kind of immense magnetic love energy that they are drawn towards you. If they are coming towards you and they are directly saying to you, I love you, it's okay. Even if they are not, then they would be constantly thinking about you. They really want you in your life because you have this immense lovely magnet. You have this kind of power. You are working so much hard in your work. You are earning so much, but it's love is not about that. You have earned so much. So they are being driving towards you and they are so crazy towards you, but they are driving with the fact that you are so sincere with what you do whenever you work hard it always not signifies that you are going to earn a lot of money but it's like you are being more practical more rationalized kind of a person you see things you become you take responsibilities of the things so it is not like you are earning in a very uh, you know monetary ways the earning could be like in the form of roses in the form of like you know beautiful things of you know just investing in wine and having a great you know talk with someone and people are appreciating you for who you are so these these are also a wealth which you inspire and you acquire and people are appreciating you for who you are so this kind of love energy which i see now, for those who are already in love, you have a great time. But this is a time where you have to keep the balance between your work energies and your love energies. That you would be finding it a bit hard to create the balance between two. So you have to maintain the balance because if you're going to more work hard on your work side, then your partner would be, you know, neglected and you really don't want to do that. And if you're working more towards your partner's side and the work would be neglected, then again, you don't want to do that. So try to create balance and it would be a little dicey for you in this month. It would be more hectic for you for this month because you would be, it would be difficult for you to take care of both love, love and money and your work um, at the same time. Now, for those who are seeking new love, OMG, you are definitely going to attract a love and their people are already have made choice that they, they want you to be their partner. It's just that they want to approach you and they don't know how to get you or how to take you because you have such an immense power because uh, sometimes when you have this kind of immense energies, so people just feel like shy or they just feel like, okay, if I'm going to talk to this person, uh, they would be directly saying no. So it really takes a lot of guts for them to contact you. So this is a kind of situation your partner is in, but they will finally have the guts and most of them would be clearing their love and their love status for you. For those who have been with their exes and they want their own love, uh, there are again a lot of chances because the true love energy has been enlightened. So they will see who they are but because i got the seven of cups so i should make it clear if your ex is coming back towards you then there should be a very good reason for why they are coming back to you if they are coming because they think that you could give them something you can you can fulfill your their financial needs you can give them their financial status you can satisfy their ego because you're so decided and so okay or so giving for them then if that is the case you are getting from your ex, say no to them. This is the two of pentacles, say no to them. But if they are coming back and they are realizing that they love you and they want to give you and they have seen you, how the person, how good person you were and how giving person you were and how hardworking person you are, but they love you for the sake of love. They want you for the sake of wanting to be with you not because all the attachments you are going to provide them so you have to say definitely yes to them if you have still the feelings for them so this is a two of pentacles energy so your exes are would, would be coming back but you have to be very clear that what they want why they are coming back so if they're just coming to say just see whether they still love me or not and just satisfying their egos 
say no to them <laughs> but if they're coming because they honestly want to spend their rest of their life with you they see the future with you so you have to say yes to them so these two kind of exes would be coming back to you in this point uh, in this period of time so you have to see who to say no and who to say no uh, yeah yes <laughs> okay now let me uh, quickly uh, take out a lucky number your a lucky number for you a lucky message for you it and manifestation your manifestations whichever you have acquired and especially the love manifestations they would be coming towards you and if your manifestation is coming towards you then there are high chances that you're going to get this lovers energy the, the your lovers would be coming people would be attracted new love or old love or any love would be coming towards you because they have this true love energy i got this eight lucky number for you and this manifestation for you message for you so your manifestations would be coming true and if you have not made any manifestation yet what you are waiting for make a manifestation think something and ask the universe yeah i want this and the universe will be working hard to provide that for you it will start there your journey will be started again all over again Okay, that's it for today's reading, Pisces. So, if you really like my reading, kindly like, share, and subscribe my channel. Also, hit the bell icon down below so that you would be notified notified next time whenever I'm going to upload any of my upcoming videos. You can also drop me a message in the comment section box drop the uh, box down below or in my email ID. How you liked this reading and what suggestions? Any suggestion you have to give to me? How to make future readings or how to improve my readings? I would love to know that. So see you in my next reading. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye.